So this is an update video of my symbol uh, from Kihano, and this one is a uh, Kenny Washington clone ride. Weights two hundred and uh, two two thousand and five hundred and forty something, forty two uh, grams. And um, it's a twenty two inch, and uh, it's a clone from Kenny Washington's old K symbol, which he received from Mel Lewis and uh, uh, no no Ma yeah Ma Mel Lewis yeah. Um, um, and uh, it sounds great. It's a really nice dry and washy and pronounced and pingy ride with a great bell too and it's crashable. Okay, so uh, this one has a pretty much the same quality of, as that. Um, I heard some people say it's a slightly drier than that and that's why I modified it just a little bit. So what I did to this symbol was basically I took um, a a practice path uh, specifically the Remo uh, no not the Remo uh, Evans real feel pad if you know what I'm saying uh, the real uh, it's a rubber um, surface and wood um, bottom kind of pad that you uh, it's a really common pad you can find on the market and I basically just take that pad and then I put my uh, symbol on it. <laughs> And basically, just uh, make it as a as, as a support, and I just start hammering it with my bottom of my stick, and I just do a tabs on the bell first, and try to make it as even as possible. Um, every corner, I'll hit every corner once, and after that, I just start to you know just hammer that around you know the the symbol, and also try to try to be as uh, even as possible, and. I do one round here and the second round a little bit outwards towards the edge and do like this okay and that's that's uh, that's something that I did to make it um, um, to make it a little bit more of an open sounding um, symbol and just you know open that open that up really quickly you can certainly do do that uh, by just playing it a lot but um, since I, I, I just want to open up, you know, quicker than, than usual, I just do that to make it, you know, open up quickly. And what I did um, after that, oh, after that, and it actually um, sound uh, more open and more crashable um, than, um, than before I, I did that thing. So you can hear the crash ability. It definitely opens up really quickly and uh, because it's a, a little bit softer and more open now so although it's a it's a pretty heavy a uh, medium medium I think it's a medium ride for uh, for jazz contact but you know open even it's pretty thick for me uh, compared to other symbols uh, uh, that I have it's still really crashable and uh, yeah that's nice um, but after that, I thought it's a little bit sloppy um, when when you're riding it. It's not it's not uh, it's not anymore. But uh, before I did so, I what I did was um, so I saw this ride called a uh, three point ride, and and another one is uh, K Constantinople Re Renaissance ride, and Renaissance ride was uh, designed by Paul Francis and uh, Adam Nussbaum. Uh, which is a great drummer, by the way. Uh, if you don't know him, please check check him out. Um, I first know this drummer um, uh, by a, um, a a jazz venue here in Taichung, and uh, the the owner of the the, the venue who is called Jazz Head, and the owner is uh, Kevin Kevin Liu, and he actually introduced this drummer to me, and I I heard his album, and I thought it was really impressive. And he has, he has a really nice ride sound, which is really 
define and have a little a, a lot of um, definition and his his uh, really uh, washy but a really focused sound. And once I found this ride designed by this drummer, I thought I, I you know I definitely have to check it out. What what's um, what's the difference between that and other symbols? And what they did was they they actually did something called cluster hammering. Okay, so what uh, what's a cluster hammering? It's basically that they take um, hammers, uh, uh, pinpoint hammers, and they they actually hammer that um, into something soft, I guess. Uh, maybe not, but um, just hammer it, um, and make it uh, uh, make it a little bit. Uh, the the browns pop out a little bit, and that makes uh, what what's the what's the difference between that and non cluster hammering is that if you hit on the cluster hammering, you get a more focused and drier sound and more, in my opinion, a little bit more quiet sound um, then you're hitting the, the other stop spots and they usually have like maybe five or six cluster hammering on one symbol um, it's not it's not like uh, um, it's not like they, they always have you know a certain amount um, it varies between um, each symbols um, so um, the idea was that so I thought maybe if this one is a little bit too sloppy for me when I'm writing it, maybe I can do something similar to cluster hammering. And because I'm not a professional um, symbol smith, I don't want to mess around with my symbol too much. So what I did was I take the rubber uh, pad again, the practice pad again, I put it on, and um, I actually just hammer the, the part that I hit the most on, on this uh, particular um, ride and where I, where do I hit the most is right here actually um, right right here right above uh, the, the the rivet hole right here around here and so I flip the symbol over and I find the exact spot that I, I hit the most and I just hammer it uh, with the support of my practice pad and with well uh, hammer it with the the stick, uh, the back of my stick, and just tab it. Um, and uh, what I wanted to do is basically make it pop out a little bit. And I basically just do like this area. It's not like pinpoint, okay? I basically just do this area a certain, maybe like three or four times here. And the next spot that I hammer is actually here where I hit the bell the most. Uh, before before I hit the bell, I basically do um, this thing a lot. Or so I figure this is the second most hidden spot on this symbol. So I just flip it over and do the same thing again. Um, I'm here, maybe this part. And it basically just, you know, it's like magic. It just becomes a little drier uh, whenever I hit that particular spot that I hammered uh, with the back of my stick and you know it just make make makes the symbol a little bit more you know has a little bit more definition than than it normally does and just it's a beautiful symbol now and you know I'm really happy with it so but that's not something that I would do on all of my symbols, um, not for this one, because this one is something that I want to have a lot of crashability, and I want to be really fluffy and really light sounding um, symbol, and uh, hope it's nice and fluffy and soft, and you know, but also writes really well. Um, so definitely. This is definitely something that I, you, you know, fits what I described. And please uh, give it a listen.
really nice and crashable. And, and and also rivets is a little bit different now. I actually took the rivets of this symbol to here. I actually switched this, the rivets for, for these two symbols um, because um, this one is a lot darker and drier than this one. So I want the rivets here darker and drier and this uh, on, on the, the rivets on this one should be a little bit lighter uh, you know light lighter um, it's not like not necessary weight wise lighter but uh, just a little brighter I guess and uh, the, 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 the rivets of this one is actually made I think this is browns this is nickel uh, nickels you know over you know over bronze or brass or stuff like that I'm not really sure but this is silver looking and this is gold almost browns color looking and I think they sound great um, for this one it's not too bright because it has a really nice uh, warm and dark uh, rivets on it and for this one it's not too dry because it's a, it has a really bright and just crystal clear sounding uh, rivets on it and yeah I think it served me well so nice and for my drum set um, I talked about this on the previous video but I didn't talk too much about the tuning so um, I actually tuned this uh, tom right here a fifth apart from each other so um, I think the bottom is maybe like D sharp or maybe E Ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah, you can if if you can definitely you can definitely tell from 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 here. Ooh, ooh, and it sounds really good too. And for this one, I think it's maybe third. It's a major third. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, definitely it's a major third. Ooh, ooh. And for this one, it's a uh, um aug augmented um, fifth. Yeah, it's fifth, but uh, a note lower than you know, a note lower. So, yeah. Okay, so um, yeah. Thank you for watching. I'm gonna play more, a little bit more for you now.
thank you